Hey guys, Oli here from Oli's Wood Shop. So we just got done with breakfast down the street from here and we're headed to the shop. Um, and today I wanted to give you kind of my bio and how I got started in woodworking. And um, I feel like that's the most asked question. Like, did you go to school? How did you learn? Like, who designs your stuff? <laughs> how did you know how to woodwork? <laughs> So I'm just going to share my story. So to make a really long story short, because I seem to rabbit hole things, like I will start here and then I go around and around and around. And then everyone's like, just get to the point. So let me try and get to the point. But I gotta start with all the backstory so you understand kind of, you know, just a little bit about everything. So as I mentioned in my previous stories, our shop is about 10 minutes from downtown LA, the arts district down here. As you can tell, this beautiful artwork. Um, I love it down here, it's just, it's so fun. Literally all the, the art just everywhere, it's so pretty. So how did I get started in woodworking? Well, Art and I met in 2015 and I was working as a server at BJ's restaurant. It's a restaurant here in California. And things got serious and I ended up, you know, we got married and I ended up getting a better job full time at a gasket company. And I worked there for a year and a half and um, they had a shop and everything. They would uh, make parts for aerospace companies and that's a, it was a really, it was fun. It was a really cool job and I learned a lot. And Art had been word working with his dad and um, doing his business for quite some time. So, and I was never interested. I never really went down to the shop, never helped him out, didn't ask many questions. <laughs> uh, he just kind of did his thing and I did mine. And it wasn't until I ended up quitting my job um, at the gasket company that Art asked if, oh, well, by the way, let me backtrack on that one. I was looking for a full-time job and um, customer service area operations. And I had interviewed four times with the company that I really thought that I was going to get the job. And I started getting actually kind of depressed because I was just sitting at home and literally putting out probably 20, 30 resumes a day. And Art's business was really taking off. So that company actually never reached out to me. Um, did four interviews with them and they actually, well, wait a minute, no, they did reach out months after I had started working with art at the shop. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna stick with my husband and pursue woodworking. So I did and art had me packaging and helping with paperwork, helping him with the, you know, the books of the company and everything and just getting organized they weren't organized and so I started doing that and as I was at the shop I actually kind of fell in love with woodworking and I was like you know what I told Art I was like you know what I think I want to start my own thing like I want to design some stuff and put it out there because I had been watching epoxy videos on YouTube like crazy and I got like really addicted to them and I was like you know what, I want to go buy some eco epoxy and some of this oil that all these guys that are making river tables are using. So I started looking up eco epoxy and where to buy it. And I saw this um, Mike from American Wood Importers, I saw this distributor out in Azusa, which isn't too far from us. So I ended up calling him up and I'm like, hey, do you have any epoxy, like a little starter kit that I could, you know, buy from you? And he was like, yeah, come on down to the shop. Um, I'm here today, so I went down there with Art, and by the way, I'll link him in my description. Dude, if you want to check out some amazing slabs from Costa Rica, you got to go to this guy's shop. Um, amazing. So, switch hands. Sorry. <laughs> Told you I'm not a professional vlogger, and this arm is like dying. And, I, oh, Art actually had, um, a walnut table that he was doing for a client a client of his and I was like we got to put this Odie's oil on there and we're gonna sand it all the way up to 800 grit and it's gonna have this amazing sheen so because I had been watching all these YouTube videos 
So that's kind of how I learned how to do the epoxy. Trial and error and YouTube. <laughs> YouTube University, thank you. So, um, watched all these YouTube videos, did this walnut table, and Art and his dad were amazed. They were like, first of all, she knows nothing about woodworking, and how does she make this table look amazing? Like, they used to literally sand their pieces only to 180. And so I started sanding them all to like 800 grit, and they started looking so good. So I just stuck with it, started helping them out. And then I was like, okay, well, I really want to design something, something very retro, because Art and I celebrated our, our two year anniversary down in Palm Springs, California. And if you haven't been there, they have amazing, modern, retro, mid-century houses out there and furniture that, oh, I literally, I could spend weeks out there just rummaging through these people's houses and like their furniture, uh, furniture shops, just, oh, the pops of color and just everything. I got so inspired and we've always loved mid-century. Um, we have a friend, her house is completely mid-century. And every time I go there, and there's so many pops of color of orange. I'm like, ah, I just love it. So um, that's kind of where we got inspired and we love mid-century anyways. So we were like, we have to do something obviously with orange. And that's when we did the uh, retro desk, the orange one with the orange panels. So we did that and it was like a hit. Got a jaywalk right now. I'm gonna run, hold up. <laughs> now I'm gonna be out of breath. Okay. Almost to the shop. <laughs> As I'm like sweating. Finally made it to the shop. So yeah, that was, that was a total rabbit hole that I just took you down. Um, <laughs> I told you, I start here and then I go around and around and around and you guys are like, just get to the point. Okay, so back to it. Um, so mainly, how did I learn to woodwork? I learned from my amazing father-in-law, uh, my husband's dad. He has been a carpenter for 40 plus years. And so it must be in the blood because Art, he is just, he's really crafty and handy. Um, and obviously he runs the CNC machine, powder coating, all the tools around here and just kind of showed me the ropes. And then obviously just the people at the shop, we have amazing carpenters here. Um, and just Art's family. And then obviously I learned from my husband and then also YouTube, good old YouTube University. Um, anything that you need to learn or even Instagram too, just following other makers and other designers and you know, they show you tips and tricks and that's just kind of how I learned. Um, by no means am I an expert. <laughs> by no means am I an expert. I literally just started, um, I just taken baby steps and just learning and growing and just practicing along the way. Um, Cause I knew nothing, nothing at all. Um, my uncle's a woodworker and he's been a woodworker for probably the same 40 plus years and he has a wood shop in his garage and he works for a local lumber yard over here and in LA and you know just learning from people seeing them um, obviously there's a lot that I don't do and that I would love to do and I see other people and um, I'm just learning and you know yes there's some tools that I am intimidated to use and um, this is the way it is and I will get better due time so that is kind of my story and how I got started with, with woodworking. And obviously I have a lot to learn. So you guys keep pumping out your videos so I can learn from you guys and uh, do my YouTube university and see everybody just, you know, their creative designs and the tips and tricks that they have. I love following you guys. So if you like us, um, subscribe to us to see more videos from us. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then if you don't like my story, then give it that thumbs down and just be honest. <laughs> and if you have any questions, uh, put it in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, until next time.